Hi, everybody. Laura here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you featuring several new products from the latest January release, starting with the Color Wave Cover-Up Die. This is a really fun die. You can do a lot of different things with it. Um, it cuts each wave individually, so you could do a lot of different shades of solid color cardstock which I thought about doing, but then I was like, you know what? I'm feeling the blend today. So I'm gonna blend an entire background panel and then die cut it using the Color Wave cover-up. So I've got my Distress Mini Ink Cubes here. They're sitting in the ink stand, which is by Brianne Loveland. And I, I got Blueprint Sketch, Salty Ocean, Mermaid Lagoon, uh, peacock feathers and cracked pistachio. Not really trying to be perfect or anything. I'm going kind of soft and subtle. I've got a variation of different blending brushes. I've been trying them all out and honestly, I like them all. I like them all. So um, I'm kind of doing gradient. I'm going very light at the top. There's hardly anything there. This is going to be a background sky, but I think it also could be great for a water background too. So I'm die cutting that and you can see how each wave is cut individually. Now I want to hold it all together. So I'm going to adhere all these waves down onto a panel. I'm covering some white cardstock with tape runner and slapping on the waves just so they can be held together. And then I'm going to trim it down, pop it up on a white card base. We are absolutely buried in snow here in Southern Germany. I mean, it snowed all day long yesterday. I had to walk into the grocery store and it was one of those where you got to look down the whole time. If you look up, the snow goes in your eyes, unless you're walking the direction where it's at your back and then it's delightful. But when it's coming in your face, I'm, I don't, I don't like that. Okay. I'm trimming down my panel. I like to do this. I do five inches tall by three and three fourths inches wide. And that gives you that nice white border when you pop it up on a standard size card base. Now I'm going to add some flicks. I've got the splat box here and I'm smushing a little blueprint sketch on an acrylic block. And then with a wet brush, I just flick them on. They're very, very subtle, which later on I want something more vibrant. Now here is some white ink. It's kind of opaque. So I'm adding a few white flicks. You know how it goes with flicking. Once you start, you can't stop, right? Okay, so now we've got one more flick. I pulled out the Gonzai Tombi and I got a little of that very royal blue on there and that gave me more intense flicks. Sometimes I just love a flicked up background. Okay, so now we're moving on to the Heart Air Balloon Dynamics die set. And this is so cute. I love hot air balloons. Every time I, I think of a hot air balloon, you know I'm thinking rainbow. So I'm gonna do a rainbow heart air balloon. So I die cut all the heart balloon parts out of white cardstock. I did the basket out of craft. And these are my little Altenu blender brushes, which that little container, don't think I'm fancy smancy organizer. I'm really not because you're going to chuckle when you find out where that container came from. It was, um, it had candy in it. It had chocolates. You know those, see if I can pronounce this right, Ferrero Rocher. I don't even know, but they're like chocolate balls wrapped in gold foil. They're very fancy. I think Maybe Alex got it for Christmas, a box of those chocolates. And it came in this clear case. And I was like, hmm, that might just hold my ink blender brushes. Now, if I get a few more, it's not going to fit. Uh, but right now, pretty handy dandy. So what I'm doing here is masking off each row so that I can do like a rainbow striped heart air balloon. Again, I got distress sinks with picked raspberry, candied apple, carved pumpkin, wild honey and squeeze lemonade. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing, just blend away. And we yeah, back to the snow, covered in snow, walk to Aldi, you know, every day I'm picking up something that I can pop in the air fryer. I'm hot. My son got me an air fryer for Christmas and I got him an air fryer. So we got each other the same gift, but we were both equally excited. Bo loves to cook, so do I. Actually, I like to eat more than I like to cook, but I do, but I've been, you know, testing out all the different things that you can put in the air fryer. Tonight, I'm going to try some turkey cutlets. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know. Okay. So we got the hard air balloon. I'm popping up my sky panel on a white card base. And then I needed something to put in the, the heart air balloon. And I chose the little bunny from the better together stamp set. 
and I'm just gonna quickly color them with Copics, not too much. I'm keeping it really simple, a little pink for the nose and the inner ear. And then I decided, you know what? You know what, I'm gonna make a spotted bunny. I think they exist, don't they? I don't know, but you can see here I did E30 and E31 just for some subtle gradient brown spots on a bunny. Looks a little bit like a puppy, but we're gonna go with it. Add a little rosy cheek. I mean, you're never finished until you give a critter a rosy cheek. I'm taking the coordinating die to die cut the bunny out, and then I'll adhere the bunny right behind the balloon basket. So I just add a little bit of glue on the bunny body, pop on the basket. Looks like he's snug as a bug in a rug. You know I've never gone on a hot air balloon ride, have you? I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not really sure I want to. <laughs> I think I might be slightly afraid of heights. I mean, I know even though it must be absolutely stunningly gorgeous up there, I think I would be freaking out that I'm gonna fall to my death. Okay, moving on to the sentiment. This is the Loopy Love Word Die, which I believe is one of the freebies for January. Like if you spend so much, you can get this Loopy Love for free. So what I did was stack up three out of white cardstock. And then for the top one, I did out of white glittered cardstock. And that brings the bling, but she's still neutral, right? I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this, kind of overlap it with the heart air balloon, a little bit hanging off the side. For the L and the O, I did teeny slivers of foam tape so it laid level. I'm gonna go ahead and emboss a coordinating sentiment from the Biddy Hugs and Kisses stamp set. Uh, I chose the Here's a Hug. These sentiment stamp sets by My Favorite Things, I gotta tell you, they're staples. They're classics, the font never goes out of style. You get 5,000 different sentiments to choose from and they're all good ones. So I did Here's a Hug, I'm doing it in white onto black and I'm heating that with the heat gun. I'll trim it out into a skinny little sentiment strip and pop it right above the V. Just kind of nestle it right in there, tying it all together. I didn't add any embellishments because I think the blingy love word die and the flicked out background, it's got enough going on. So what do you think? Are you ready to join the bunny for a rainbow heart air balloon ride? I mean, I don't think I'm ready, but hey, if you wanna join, you have at it. I hope you enjoyed this video, sending you a big hug today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.